this is Tall from Tall's Garage. In this video today, I want to discuss an issue that occasionally crops up in the Subaru EJ25 single overhead cam engine. And this is concerning exhaust valve guides that have moved out of position. Today, I want to talk about the cause, and then I want to walk you through a repair procedure. This problem seems to occur mostly on the EJ25 exhaust valve guides on the single overhead cam engine. I will show you some examples of valve guides that have slid out of position and what to look for when inspecting the cylinder heads. When the guide slides out of position, the valve stem seal also can come off, which will allow oil to leak through the valve guides. And on the exhaust side, the, uh, the oil will leak through the exhaust port. This will initially result in increased oil consumption and in more severe examples can lead to drivability concerns such as misfires or even in extreme cases, engine damage. So let's take a closer look at this problem. Here is a picture of the valve guides installed in the head. You can see the valve guide on the left has slipped or dropped out of position and it's actually popped the valve stem seal off. Uh, with the valve stem seal out of position when it's popped off, oil now leaks down the valve guide and exits out the exhaust. The guide on the right is in the correct position and still has the valve stem seal in place. Here's the next slide. Uh, there's three valve guides that have been removed. The bottom valve guide is what you'd normally expect. This is in the correct position. This valve guide has not slipped or dropped out of place. In the middle is a guide that's dropped out a little bit. Notice how much more of the guide is covered in carbon. So it slid down a little bit and actually popped the uh, uh, valve stem seal off. On the top is a guide that has dropped out of place by a significant amount. Not only is there more carbon, but the end of the guide also appears to be heat damaged. To the right of each guide is one of the valve stem seals. Uh, on the two valve guides that dropped, the valve stem seals popped off, which allowed oil to leak past the valves through the valve guides. Valve guides are made from either iron or manganese bronze. For this Subaru, the valve guides are iron while the head is made out of aluminum. Aluminum, iron, and bronze all have different thermal expansion coefficients. This means that each metal expands at a different amount when heated. In other words, the bigger the thermal expansion coefficient, the more the metal expands when heated. Let's compare the thermal expansion coefficients of aluminum, iron, and bronze. Notice that aluminum and iron expand at different amounts when heated. Aluminum and bronze, not so much. This means that as the head heats up, the aluminum valve guide holes in the cylinder head will become lar larger, while the iron valve guides will remain relatively the same size. If we use bronze valve guides, we'd be less likely to have this problem. There's a simple test to determine uh, if your valve guides are made out of iron. We'll just use a magnet and uh, we see that the magnet picks up the valve guide so this is a cast iron valve guide. Here's a source for bronze valve guides. I'll put a link in the comments section below. These guides also have a machine shoulder to prevent the guide from slipping. You can press these in with an air hammer and a valve guide driver. Here we are pressing in a new valve guide. Here's the head with the new valve guides installed. This shows the new valve guides pressed into position. You can see the shoulder portion of, of the guide is pressed against the head. Once the guides are in place, they need to be reamed. I'm using Subaru tool number 499-76-7400. I'll, I'll put this tool number in the comment section. Next, 
we'll press on the valve guide seals. In this picture is the tool to use, Subaru tool number 49885700. I'll put a link in the comment section. The workshop manual differentiates between the intake and the exhaust valve stem seals. The book says that they are black for the intake and brown for the exhaust. However, the new seals, the new exhaust seals are gray and green. They are marked with an EX on the gray green and a IN for the intake valves. Here we're going to press in the valve stem seals and they just snap into position. Next uh, we'll replace the valve springs, retainers, and keepers. Here's a tool to do this. Okay that's it. Here's a the tools that I used, the valve guide press is a snap-on, part number PHG97A. The valve seal press is a Subaru tool number 49885700. The reamer is a Subaru tool number 49976700. And then I got this valve spring compressor off of Amazon. Um, it was not a, it's a no name, but it's for less than 20 bucks, but it worked really well. I'll post a link in the comment section below. Okay, that wraps things up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below.